This video is for those who want to bore sight so as to get their first shot on paper at ranges further than was thought possible before the Sight Light Ballistics Targeting Program was available. That software was developed by Dexedyne Incorporated, publishers of Ballistic Explorer, which was used to print the target shown in this video. These targets work the same as those produced by the free Sight Light Ballistics Targeting Program, the difference being Ballistic Explorer works with sights mounted below the barrel, such as laser sights, and allows for the use of non-standard conditions. Later in this video, I'll show you how to get the Sight Light Ballistics Targeting Program for free. You will need to know the sight height of your gun in order to produce the bore sight target. Here's how to measure sight height. I'm using a Ruger 10-22 with the stock removed for this demo. The gun barrel is tapered, so note the location along the length of the barrel as you measure its diameter. At the same location where you measured the diameter, measure the overall height from the bottom of the barrel to the top of the scope. Finally, measure the scope diameter in the same location as you measured the overall height. This diagram shows the relationship of sight height to the three measurements just taken. I measured barrel diameter, overall height, scope diameter, and we're going to calculate sight height. This is the equation. Sight height equals overall height minus the scope diameter divided by 2 minus the barrel diameter divided by 2. And I'm plugging in the numbers I got. And down here we've divided the diameter by 2, so we have the radius. And the barrel diameter divided by 2 and got the radius. We subtract these values from the overall sight height, and it came up with a sight height of 1.677 inches. After printing your custom target, it's important that it's placed at the correct distance and at the same height as the gun's barrel with the target's crosshairs level and plumb. Here's an easy way to do that. The Sight Light Boresighter comes with a target that has a built-in bubble level and an adapter that changes the laser spot into a line. These are normally used to level the scope's crosshairs, but they can also be used to position and level the custom bore sight target. Using the bubble level to level the target, tape it to the wall so that the laser line crosses the target, and then adjust the adapter on the laser bore sighter so that the laser line is level with the crosshairs on the bubble target. Using the bore sight as a laser level, tape the custom bore sight target to the wall. With the adapter removed, Adjust the gun vise or rest so that the bore sight laser is centered within the laser spot printed on the custom target. Then adjust the scope so that its crosshairs line up with the crosshairs printed on the custom target. Make sure both the laser and crosshairs line up at the same time. The longer the distance used to bore sight, the more accurate the results, but the harder it is to see the laser spot on the custom target. Here's a tip for solving that problem. Make a clean hole in the target using a hole punch. Add reflective tape to the back side of the target using painter's tape so you can reuse the reflective tape. You can see how the laser flares dramatically when it hits the reflective spot, allowing you to be literally spot on when bore sighting at 30 yards, even in daylight. I'll show you how to get the Sight Light software for free, but first I'll show you how to print custom targets using the Sight Light ballistic targeting software. So here's the Sight Light Ballistic Targeting System program. The instructions are up at the top. You can scroll through. This program is designed to be very easy to use, so you select from lists. So we're going to set up for the Ruger 1022 that we showed the sight height measurements on. So I'm going to select the caliber, 22 long rifle. Select the sight height. You remembered we measured it at uh, 1.677 inches. So for the closest tenth inch, we would select 1.7 inches. A bullet weight, we're going to select uh, 40 grains. And we're going to select a bullet shape, round nose. And that'll give us the typical velocity and BC of that particular load. If you know the actual velocity or BC, you can just go ahead and enter those values directly. Now I'm going to select my zero range. So I'm going to select 75 yards and it's calculated the bore sight solution for me. And so that's the distance at which the line of sight and the bore sight laser would line up, and we can see that distance down here at 14.7 yards. Now, if we have less than 14.7 yards and we want a bore sight, we can just come on down and select, let's say we got 27 feet, so nine yards. At um, nine yards, 
we would be down around 6.6 .6 inches, which is what we have down here. So if we wanted to print this uh, custom target, we come up to print target, we get the preview, here's what that looks like. Now go ahead and zoom out. So this is a standard 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper and we can print that out and you would set this up at 9 yards away with your scope crosshairs here and your laser bore sighter spot centered here. And so we'll go back to the bore sight solution and you'll see this is at 14.7 yards. Now I'll go back and change the sight height to what somebody would have entered as a typical height for a uh, like a bolt action um, scoped rifle which would be 1.5 inches and we'll see how much this changes. So I've made that change and everything else is the same over here except for the sight height is now at 1.5 inches and you can see my bore sight range the ideal solution has changed by over a yard just because of the two tenths of an inch difference in the scope height and so you want to have your scope height measured accurately and it also shows you the fallacy of bore sighting to some standard distance regardless of the sight height or the uh, particular load that you're shooting. So now I'm going to show you how to get this software for free. The easiest way is just go to our website. It's www.dexadine.com D-E-X-A-D-I-N-E.com Come down to our free software. Scroll down. There's our drag function synthesizer. Here's the BTF software, and you'll find a link down here to go to the Site Light website. Hunting. And scroll down to their ballistic targeting system. And scroll down at the bottom, you'll have two choices either the Windows version or the Mac version. We developed the Windows version, after which it was such a good idea they decided they needed a Mac version. I don't know who did that how accurate it is or how well it works, I can't really speak to it. Go ahead and click on the Windows version. It'll ask you for your serial number. We give you a serial number on our website from just where we had the link. You can enter that in here. This is all legitimate. That serial number tells them you're coming from the Dexadine website. This software works with Windows XP through the latest version of Windows 10, either 32 or 64 bit versions. It's a digitally signed setup file, so you'll know it's not been corrupted coming over the internet or has malware. And go ahead and install that software and you can produce custom targets. If you're interested in bore sighting at longer ranges, under non-standard conditions, or laser sights mounted below the barrel, watch our video on bore sighting tactical rifles. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.